Welcome to New Day Cleveland. I'm Natalie Herbig. Today we are exploring some of the great towns right here along Lake Erie. We'll be doing some things outdoors, eating great food, and of course, shopping. Our first stop is right here in Lorraine, and we are doing something that many folks have seen but haven't actually visited. This is the Lorraine Lighthouse. It is. We just left the harbor and we're going down to Black River out to the lighthouse. You can only get to the lighthouse via boat. And uh, we uh, we really enjoy having people out to the lighthouse. I mean, it's the trademark of Lorraine for many, many years. Uh, if you look at any stationary websites, they seem to feature our lighthouse out there. So. It's gorgeous. I don't know how you could pass up an opportunity to come out here. Do you find that it's still a hidden gem though that people don't know that they can come out and go visit the lighthouse? Yeah, a lot of people aren't aren't aware that they can actually go to the lighthouse. They think you know, they can only see it from from land. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've done a pretty good job of getting our, our story out via different art magazines and uh, websites and things like that. So it's getting to be more and more popular. Our events are pretty filled up for most of this year already. How long has it been around? 1917. Wow, it's a staple. Yes, it's a historic landmark. We have a landmark at the uh, on the dock over by the uh, Oasis Marina. And uh, we celebrated our 100th anniversary here a few years ago. We had some fun with that. And uh, we have a really good group of gentlemen and some ladies that go out there every week to maintain it, repair and maintain the, the lighthouse. Uh, we've been fortunate to get some nice grants to, to do the major work. And um, so it's a lot of fun. So this, I know we're kind of getting a, a quick tour over here, but most people will not ride in this when they come through the lighthouse, right? No, this is, this is our work boat. This is where we take all the people out to do the work and get set up for our events. Uh, we rent a boat from the uh, Lorraine Port and Finance Authority. They have an 18-passenger boat that we take out there. They actually have two of them. Sometimes we need them both. How can you beat this? You, <laughs> you, you have it made out here. You know that. People love being out in the water, and they love coming out to the lighthouse. We have some great events out there. Uh, we even have weddings and engagements out there. Oh, I can't even imagine. We, what of you? You can't beat this. Yeah. Sunset? Oh. So this is it. This is, is this where you have the dinners? Yes, we do. We have them right over here on the west side of the lighthouse so they can see the sunset when it comes uh, comes down at night. Oh, it is just breathtaking. And you have this 360 degree view of not only the land, but this gorgeous lake. So how many stories high is this? We're three stories high plus okay. a basement, and we have a lantern room on the top where the lantern used to be for the lighthouse, so, or to, for the lake. And can people go up there all the way to the top All the way want? up to the lantern room. There's a, a walkway around the room, and uh, a lot of the wedding pictures have been taken up there too. It's very nice to have a picture up there. It's a little hard for the late for the ladies with their, their wedding heels dresses and to, the get, wedding dress. to get up there. <laughs> But you know what? Ladies know we'll do anything in heels and a dress to get the perfect picture, absolutely, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. We've got some beautiful pictures. I can't think of a better one. And this is typically where we have the ceremony, right in here, because it's got nice room on both sides of it. So. There's so much history, though, too, as you were mentioning before. And I just feel like, you know, if this is something that people haven't done, whether the, if they live in Lorraine or they live out of there, it's just it, it's an easy trip to come up here. Yeah, we have visitors from Pennsylvania, Illinois, Indiana, uh, New York. Uh, and we get a lot of visitors from there. Uh, the lighthouse was actually was decommissioned in the mid 60s and they were going to tear it down. Oh wow, really? So a group of citizens got together and convinced them not to tear it down. And actually I think we bought it for one dollar and formed, uh, you know, it took a few years but we formed a committee to restore the lighthouse and they did millions of dollars worth of work on the interior and the exterior to what it is today. That's incredible. And you take them, you basically bring them in the main entrance mm -hmm. and floor by floor there's, there, there's bits of history throughout the lighthouse. Right, floor by floor, there, you know, the second floor is like the office, uh, third floor is the, the, where the lantern is up there, and then on the top is the, uh, the actual light that we had. I know why everyone needs to make this a stop, because it is just truly breathtaking. And our lighthouse, uh, has, for seven years in a row, has been voted the number one lighthouse on Lake Erie. I can see why. 
thank you so much for taking us out. You're welcome. Today. Thank you for coming out. I'll we be appreciate back. it. I'll be back. This is the first, but book, not the last you time. You can book a dinner with us. Okay. <laughs>
the guy that I was working with actually owned his t-shirt shop in Marion, Ohio. He's awesome, it's Pledge Ohio. And he said, I think we're onto something. You have such a great audience. I think you can turn this into a business. So I took everything in house, started doing everything out of my house, learning how to make the apparel, learning how to do all the accounting stuff and I mean everything all at once. And within the past year, I was able to grow into a fulfillment center in Vermilion. The hardest part I had to learn was designing because memes can be memes. No one's critiquing them. They're just are what they are. They're funny. But when it comes to designing, I wanted to make sure that I had solid, good looking designs. So I actually am a YouTube graduate of Photoshop and started designing everything from there. Um, and then actually learning the printing process, I had shadowed other mentors that owned their own t-shirt shops that I would watch and learn from them. So we cover all kinds of Cleveland sports or Ohio sports. Um, so we offer everything that you see is like stickers, we do t-shirts, we do hoodies, tank tops. Um, sometimes we'll come out with new items like we've done wind breakers, anything that will I want to wear, <laughs> I think other people might want to wear as well. So all of our shirts are made on like that old vintage style shirt that you used to wear like forever ago and all the, everything's faded out of it, but it's so comfortable that you can't give that shirt up. That's the style that we have. It's everything soft, it's unisex, it is pre-shrunk so that it does not shrink when you throw it in the washer. It's great. I am constantly adding new things to the website. I'm trying to maneuver things around, especially seasonal. We have some products that are very summer related, some are winter related, so we want to make sure that we're always like trying to keep everybody engaged and keep it fun. Everything's locally made, everything's made in Ohio with brands that are made in the United States. So we're really happy to help with that and we're happy to donate a lot of our proceeds to local charities as well. Everybody loves Cleveland. They may say that, oh, I, you know, there's, it's always next year, they're always this. Well, no, this is the year and we're all saying it and we all embrace it and I don't know what it is about Ohio pride. Everyone is so proud to be from Ohio that they wear everything Ohio related or Cleveland related. I love getting out and meeting the people and going to like markets that we do a lot throughout the year. A lot of times people don't know it's a girl behind the business or they don't even know it's a business. A lot of the times it's just, I thought you guys were just a funny Facebook page. So it's kind of funny just meeting everybody and seeing everybody face to face. It's nice. It's crazy and gives me goosebumps because I've always had that entrepreneurial spirit. To see it go from a few hundred likes on a Facebook page, you know, so many years ago and then turn into this actually full-blown, like, full-time job is just beyond me. I'm so glad. Mistakes on the Lake is an online business, so you can shop from the comfort of your couch or you can find them at one of the many events taking place around the area. Well, nothing wrong with a staycation for the family at Kalahari in Sandusky. There is plenty of indoor and outdoor fun to be had. We all know how great Kalahari can be as a winter getaway, but it's summer and look around. I mean, it is so fantastic here to bring your family. You've got the indoor water park still available, which is 84 degrees and sunny all the time, but now it's 85 degrees and sunny outside too. We have so many fun features out in our outdoor area, which can include, you know, thrill seeker, you know, water slides for the big kids, just all kinds of fun animal features and, and water spouts and little kid slides out here. So there's a lot to do in the water park area. But on top of that, our outdoor area features our um, soap adventure park, which is, you know, rock climbing and some fun things that are out of the water fun. And then we've got a brand new mini golf experience here. So that's a nice thing. If you're done for the day in the water and you want to do something after dinner, you can go hit up 18 holes in our brand new mini golf. We've got our really fun things inside the water park. We have the flow rider, which is surfing simulation. We've got underwater diver, which is like a VR simulation. It's a VR experience in the water, which is super cool. For moms and dads too, I know the question is always, you know, what do we do after we're having fun? Where do we eat? Where can I get an adult beverage maybe? So we, we love our, our food here at Kalahari and we've got lots of dining options too. Belux is great for burgers and milkshakes for the family. If you want something a little fancier for dinner, we do offer Sortino's Italian Kitchen. It's actually a local favorite here in Sandusky. Great pasta, you know, grab, grab pasta, meatballs, wine. Cafe Mirage just recently reopened over Memorial Day weekend. It's brand new, has a great new look, additional bar down in our arcade area. 
you can stop for a quick bite, it's fast service. We have our spa here at, at Kalahari, so that's number one, I think, for moms. Lots of different treatments, massage, facials, you know, pedicures and manicures, all the basics up there, but some really cool things up in the spa as well. We've got a halo therapy room, we have a float tank, so if you want to try something new and fun, that's available. The best way to start planning your trip, though, is just go to kalahariresorts.com so you can kind of pre-plan how you want to spend your time with us. We've also got a great new feature on our website that's available for purchase. It's called our Epic Pass. We offer it right now in a one month subscription or a three month and that's for those people that are coming back to us a lot, you know, that really love it here and they want to, you know, they're coming every single day and paying the normal daily rate, but this is like a special gift from our company to them. We see when people come here, they're, they love it here. They're, it's like a mini vacation in Ohio, but feels like you're in Florida, especially this time of year because you've got all this outside stuff going on. There's just a lot of fun things to do here for the whole family. Ready to book that mini vacation? It's easy to explore the different day and overnight packages by visiting Kalahari Resorts online. When we return, it's shopping for joy in Lakewood. Welcome back. Enjoy dinner with a view because we have a spot in Lorraine serving up some dockside favorites. This is Erie Steak and Seafood. Erie Steak and Seafood has been here for basically 25 years. It was the Jackalope and then after the marina changed, we actually went into Erie Steak and Seafood because I wanted to rebrand a little bit. We've got a, a great view. I'm sorry, but we do. We have, I, this is one of the best offices you can ever have in your entire life. And I get to wear shorts to work, so that's, that's a nice thing. Being local is what I've always tried to be. My background is culinary. We try and keep things as fresh as they can possibly be. Between our salads and um, produce, I buy from my, my farmers that are by my house. We're gonna do a walleye and parchment. We take olive oil and we put it in the center and capers, black olives, uh, salt, pepper, lemon, and then we put it all together, wrap it, and we bake it off. And it's just a way of, of not having walleye done traditionally, which is deep fried. It's become a really big seller for us. Walleye is the grouper of Lake Erie. The walleye cakes, we put walleye and a little bit of crab and then we make, make our breading out of panko breadcrumbs and we drizzle it with a uh, cucumber dill sauce. And then we have perch, you know, and we have a lot of seafood, pastas and stuff like that. I grow mint at my house. So we'll do mint mojitos and then we'll do also a pineapple mojito. We'll do sangrias during the summertime that are from my farmers that have blueberry farms right by my house. The strawberries from Kriegs. The ceiling was a good idea. Everybody's boat names, they, they would pay for the ceiling tiles to be replaced and they love to walk in with their friends and it's a good way to sit there and bring people into your place and sit there and go, that's my ceiling tile. And that's the cool part about it. I've been to Key West before and watched the sunset and really walked away and was extremely disappointed. When we have the sunset with the boats, the sails, the lighthouse and everything else, I've, I still haven't found a good sunset yet that can beat this one. Lorraine is a good town and there's good people here and they're true, really, really sincere people. Come to Lorraine, enjoy it. There's not many restaurants on Lake Erie. This is a gem of itself.
Steak and Seafood is located on Lakeside Avenue in Lorraine. Well, time once again for some shopping. At All the Joy in Lakewood, you'll find a mix of old and new and definitely unique. All the Joy is a home decor and gift shop on the West End in Lakewood. We offer new items and renewed items, which is used that we're breathing new life into. It's kind of my passion project breathing new life into things. So that's really where this came from. I love new, um, exciting, great pieces, but I also love the opportunity to take something that was someone's treasure at one point and bring it out again. I find there's just so many unique pieces and just quality items, and so that's really kind of the root of this. What you'll see in this store is, is a big spectrum. You're gonna see modern and contemporary, a lot of mid-century and vintage, and some antiques as well. You're gonna see furniture, all the way down to um, birthday cards. In the new items, I focus primarily on free trade companies, minority-owned companies. For the renewed items, I started off even on Marketplace, and then I moved into estates and online auctions, and I really enjoy this piece of it. I've started working with companies that downsize and move people out, and then I get to work with the person, and I get to explain to them that their pieces are going somewhere, that people are gonna love them. The colored glass was something that I had seen several years ago on Facebook, and I loved it, and so that was one of the first things I started collecting, and, and I just love it. I'm glad when things sell, but sometimes I have to say it's a little sad when they walk out the door, um, but I'm quick to replenish it. I have a large collection of teapots, and I had brought them out in the winter months when it's so comforting to have that, but I've really collected uh, an eclectic range of them, and people seem to really love them. are very interested in art and mirrors and wall hangings, so we try to keep as much as we can in. It's really lovely when someone comes in and sees that piece that they've been looking for. Plants are a part of my heart, and so we have lots of different air plants and stands for air plants. We have propagation stations, and you will get a, a free cutting of plants, so you can take it home and start your own as well, and just an array of other house plants as well as outdoor. I call it my garden center outside with lots of pots because people are always looking for pots. They leave with a smile on their face. They tell stories. A lot of it is, oh, I remember that in my mother, my grandmother's house. And they're actually happy to be able to take a piece home that reminds them of that. That is really a goal of mine, to change it up so you can come back frequently and there'll always be new stuff in here. I love it when people come in and look at it and smile and say, oh, what a lovely place it is. That just is exactly what we had hoped to do. All the Joy is located on Detroit Avenue in Lakewood. You can check them out on Instagram for their new arrivals. Still to come here on New Day Cleveland, drinks, dinner, events, and more all under one roof. Welcome back. You know, Vermilion is without a doubt one of the greatest cities on Lake Erie, and it's also very dog friendly. That's what it's all about at Rocky and Layla's. Rocky and Layla's is a barkery boutique that I have downtown Vermilion. I started doing the treats because my grandpups, which are Rocky and Layla, so I started making them homemade treats, and then I just started doing vendor shows. I went all over and did shows, and then I started making pup cakes and cakes, and I've always wanted to open a boutique, so I knew that I wanted to get here. That was my goal. And about three years ago, I had a friend, actually, we were sitting out over here having lunch after we were done kayaking, and I told her, I'm like, this town needs a dog store, a boutique, it would be so cute. 
And she's like, you should do it. And I said, maybe one day I will. And here I am. These are my treats, the bacon, the pumpkin, and the banana oat. And I actually have to make them about every night. And they all have natural ingredients in them. And, you know, we're all concerned about what we give our puppies. And, you know, and, and it's important because you go to a store and you're getting on all kinds of different ingredients that, you know, you just, it's not good for them. So that's how I got started there from my grand pups. I started making them. I have doggy clothes, I have the shirts, and right now I'll be ordering sweaters, getting ready for winter. I have the bandanas and life jackets. Life jackets are really big here. There's a lot of boaters. So it's important that, you know, we have life jackets for us. So make sure, you know, that we have, we should make sure we have life jackets for our, our dogs too. And I also have shampoo that people love. It's all natural ingredients in the shampoo too. And the leashes and the lick pads. The lick pads are a hit. So those are, a lot of people tell me a lot of great ideas that they use for those. Um, maybe when you're eating dinner, they have, they put peanut butter or they spread cheese on it. You can also get a dog balm that I make and it's for their paws when they're cracked. We also have gifts for the dog owners or their friends. We have bracelets and we have cards, birthday cards. I offer coffee cups and I'll be getting more jewelry in. So yeah, they can come in and pick up gifts. And then I also have bags and tissue paper that I offer when they buy stuff like that. So, and t-shirts, my t-shirts also are here. The support here from the Vermilion community has been great. Everybody has been so nice. They've come in, they've congratulated me, and it's very welcoming here. Everybody's been so nice. And there's a lot of dog owners. I've already had a lot of repeat customers, so that's really nice. Dogs are welcome in here. I love seeing the dogs come in because I also put them in front of my lake sign that I have right here and I take pictures and I put them on my business page. Seeing dogs every day is the best part. Like I get to pet them and it's been great. A good reason to come here to Vermilion and bring your pup with you. I mean, you get homemade treats, you get a gift, you could pick up a life jacket. There's so much here to see in town too. Not only within my store, but there's a lot of great small business owners here. It's pretty amazing to see from where I started in a 10 by 10 tent to now, you know, this. And every day I'm so thankful. I'm just like, I'm glad I took that leap of faith. Rocky and Layla's Barkery is located in downtown Vermilion on Liberty Avenue. All right, back to Lorraine now, where an historic building has been given some new life with a restaurant, bar, coffee shop. And that's just the start. This is the shipyards. The Shipyards today is a restaurant, a craft cocktail lounge, an event center, a conference center, coffee shop, and we have retail spaces, all under one roof. This used to be the American Shipbuilding Company. They've been building ships here since 1898. Uh, the first ship launched here was uh, 1898 was the Superior City. That's the name of our craft cocktail lounge. We were actually going to put high-end apartments here and maybe a little brewery restaurant on the end. We were standing up here one day and I said, why don't we just make an event center? So, then it, it blossomed from there. So this is the event center. So we can normally fit up to 500 people here. With COVID, we can only do 300. The boiler room is a restaurant and it has a, a, a bar in it also. And we serve mainly American cuisine. Our chef does a fantastic job. We're gonna do avocado toast and we're gonna do our Black River pokey. Take our avocado mash. Each one gets about one avocado. Slice each one. Feta crumbles. A little olive oil drizzle. Some fresh pomegranate seeds. And some micros. Marinated Israeli couscous. A little bit spicy with our jalapenos. Refreshing cucumbers. We got some radishes for some tanginess and snapness. Edamame. And then our marinated ahi tuna. And we're gonna finish with avocado and some chili threads. And then we have Superior City, which is our craft cocktail lounge. 
And we also have a menu in there, a little lighter menu in there. And then we also have the patio, which we have a grill on the patio also. All right, so today I'm gonna to start off making a pineapple whiskey sour. We call it don't mint if I do, so sort of like a riff on don't mind if I do. Maker's Mark whiskey, some Cointreau, some pineapple juice, some lemon juice, simple syrup, we add some mint leaves and shake it up. It's called Is This a Pina Colada? And it's made with the Seven Brothers Erie Island Rum, which is a really lovely spiced rum. Some pineapple juice, our house-made coconut syrup, fresh squeezed lime juice, and then a touch of our house-made cinnamon syrup. So this is essentially just a riff on a pina colada. Is this a pina colada? We have Monkey Island coffee, which is actually part of the history of this building. Monkey Island is actually in the Black River. So uh, you can also get to Monkey Island coffee from the street side and you could sit at either patio or we have a little gazebo out front. And uh, we also have an interactive mural there that was hand painted with uh, Monkey Island. The best place around <laughs> and it's awesome. It uh, has a lot of history to it. You know, people try to create spaces like that and here we naturally have it. Grew up in Lorraine. Our business is in Lorraine, and I've always wanted to see Lorraine come back. And for me, personally, it means a lot. We just basically dumped our heart and soul in it to, to see the fruitions of what we created here, just, and to see the smiles on people's faces is just awesome. The Shipyards is located on Shipyard Way in Lorraine. And when we come back, all the gear to get outdoors and love the lake. Welcome back. You know, for those who are all about Lake Erie, why not dress the part? You'll find all of the lake apparel that you need at Erie at Anchor. Erie and Anchor is a lifestyle brand. It's a nautical gift and apparel site and store now. We offer gifts and apparel for those who love, live, and play on Lake Erie. I've really had a desire to open and start my own business and open a storefront for years. I worked in retail at a young age of 16. I moved to Putin Bay Island uh, when I turned 16 and lived with a family over there, so I fell in love with the lake. And uh, in years growing up, I attended College of Charleston, South Carolina, and so I lived on the coast and got to vacation on the East Coast. And I always thought it would be really cool to have a brand like Fish Hippie or Vineyard Vines really more geared toward the Great Lakes. I started small online and just doing some local summer markets. And then the brand really started to grow and take off. And we decided to kind of test the retail market and we've been just blown away. They'll see a wide variety of items. Now that we have a storefront, uh, we're able to offer everything from stylish totes to really comfortable hoodies to now some higher end outdoor wear, turtlenecks, some pullovers and things like that, as well as some home products that we didn't have the opportunity to have available when we were only online. We started with mostly unisex because I did it out of my home and online. And now that we have a storefront, we do have some apparel geared toward men or women, but we also have things for children and babies, uh, a baby box with a onesie in it, everything up to uh, the teens and some new kind of midi and crop tops available so if you bring in your family there's a little something for everyone. 
We offer a wide variety of branding now. We started with just our simple Erie and Anchor logo that we had on some of our apparel and we expanded it to have different things like our uh, vermilion design, which is designed by Coastal Cleveland. We also offer an escape to the lake design um, that was more geared toward vermilion and people that live, love and vacation uh, in now our hometown so that when they come in, they really can pick and choose whether they want to have apparel that represents their love of the North Coast or or if they want to support Vermilion in their hometown, they really have options. And the best part of having this brand has been the opportunity to give back. We donate 5% of all of our sales back to researching ways to keep Lake Erie clean. We chose Vermilion because we actually live here and this community has just been uh, very receptive to our brand. We've been included in a lot of events that have happened over the past three years and uh, we wanted to be part of a community that's really embraced us and being part of downtown. I can't tell you how many people have come into the store that have complimented us, that love the brand, love kind of an upscale nautical vibe coastal store where they can find everything from a simple inexpensive gift to a luxury gift item for a wedding or an anniversary. Erie and Anchor is in downtown Vermilion at the corner of Liberty Avenue and Main Street. Well, Lake Erie is great for kayaking, let me tell you, and you can do it without breaking the bank on equipment. Take a look at the Cleveland Outpost. So the Outpost is first and foremost a place where you can come for affordable gear. We are an outfitter, but we're also a used gear exchange. So that means that if you have outdoor gear that you want to trade for other pieces of outdoor gear, it doesn't even have to be the same sport, you can come here and use your gear as cash towards something else. I always struggle to find gear at an affordable price, so I figured that other people must as well, and uh, I wanted to be the one to bring it to people. We cater mostly to backpackers, campers, and kayakers, but there's a lot of other stuff we have. We have a windsurfing kit here. Uh, we have uh, stuff for uh, surfing. We share a space with paddle, uh, Nalu Paddleboard and Surf, so that means that you can find paddleboards here, surfboards. We are a shop for anybody wanting to get outside in some way. So if you have a very specific request or you're looking for something very specific, you might not find it that day, but I can guarantee you, you will find something that you didn't expect to find that will bring you joy. We sell paddles, we sell life jackets, we'll sell backpacks, tents, stoves, uh, and everyday backpacks as well if you're just a day hiker. We have fanny packs. People love fanny packs, so we sell those as well. We have local clothing from different brands that uh, represent around the area, as well as used clothing, vintage clothing at really affordable rates. So I can look through this really quick and let you know what we're likely to take and not take. If you want to trade your gear in and it's something that's not particularly valuable or a clothing item, we'll give you store credit for it. If you have a kayak that you want to consign, please bring them in right now. We're offering really good rates on that. You can get money for, your, for trading it in and also get it to somebody else who is going to participate in the sport for the first time. So it's kind of a, a double win for you. You get to feel good about yourself but also take home some cash. You have to buy stuff piece by piece to get outside properly for the first time. You shouldn't buy an entire kit and expect to go out and know how to use everything. So come in here even if you just need a backpack. Come in here if you just need a stove and we'll show you how it works. And maybe the item that you're purchasing is one of our brand new items from our affordable brands. Or perhaps you're able to find something that's awesome that's used and continue the circular economy. You can feel good about yourself and feel good about going out for the first time with that piece of gear guaranteed because we don't bring anything in that isn't quality doesn't have a lot of life left in it so um, we will instruct you to everything you need to know uh, about that particular item we price our stuff as low as we possibly can because we want everybody to get outside so anybody bringing their gear in to trade in is supporting our business and is growing the cleveland outdoor scene we will not only get you the gear to get outside, we'll educate you and inspire you. That last bit is something that we really seek to do that not a lot of other stores do. We want to get you inspired and show you other places that you can go and tell you, yes, you can, rather than simply saying, oh, maybe hold on for a minute, uh, make sure that you know this and this and this. We'll teach you those things, but then we'll also say, get out there. We want to, uh, we want to make it happen for you. I'm super glad you guys came by, so have a good one.
The Cleveland Outpost is located on Linda Street in Rocky River. Still to come here on New Day Cleveland, shopping for a cause in Lakewood. Welcome back. We are wrapping up our day of exploring cities here on Lake Erie with some shopping at Mishi Lifestyle. You'll find the most unique pieces that you won't find anywhere else. The concept of Mishi as we initially dreamed it to be was a place that people could come and have more of what I would call a sensory experience. So it's not just shopping, but it's also a way of treasure hunting. And if you were to kind of describe what our aesthetic is, I would say it's more of a boho chic boutique for home decor, jewelry, gifts for both men, women, babies, and pets. When I traveled a lot for work, I was traveling from the East Coast to the West Coast, sometimes in Canada, and I would, in my downtime after work, I usually would plant myself at a hotel that was in a downtown area, um, that had uh, boutiques, independent boutiques around it, and I would just go exploring a little bit. And it was really relaxing, and I felt like during those times I would find my own little treasures. And so I really wanted to translate that somewhere in Lakewood. Some of the values that I wanted to bring to the items that we offer here were uh, American-made products, products that benefit social good, that are sustainable, that are made well, of course, and also other values that we feel are important to us in the community is that they are women-owned, black-owned, and you know, simply provide joy in someone's home. We have a line of body scents, uh, body oils, spray lotions, as well as perfumes, and the line is called Riddle. It's done really well for us. We have Spitfire Girl, and they have some really cool uh, bar tea towels. They have amazing candles. We have artist Marcello Molino here. He's a photographer here in Lakewood, and he does beautiful imagery of Lakewood, Cleveland, and different cities in Italy. We have a, a ton of really cute items for pet. We have a Mac or Mama, who is a woman-owned business, and she does beautiful macrame, dog leashes. And then we also have uh, dog collars from Foggy Dog. And most importantly, we also have signed issues of Greg Murray's book, Peanut Butter Puppies. We have great gifts for babies and new moms. We have the, the cutest little onesies from a company called Mi Cielo, it means my heaven. So if you want to be the hit at the baby shower, stop on by and we can help you do that. Many of the textiles that we purchase are made by women in countries that need an economic benefit or an incentive. So we look at those first when we are deciding what sort of textiles to invest in. A lot of the makers that I use, they might decide that they want to change. They want to do something different. So that's the beauty of curating something like this, where you never know what you're going to get. When I hear somebody walk into the store and they say something like, it smells so good in here. This is beautiful. It's so different. It's unique. And that just puts the biggest smile on my face because that's exactly what I want to communicate without saying anything. Mishi Lifestyle is on Detroit Avenue in Lakewood. And that does it for our road trip today. We hope that you've had as much fun as we have exploring just a few of the great cities on the Great Lake Erie. Each one of them have so many different things to offer, including some incredible views. And you can find that list of places that we visited here on fox8.com. Just click on that New Day tab. I'm Natalie Herbick, and I'll see you on the next New Day Cleveland.